Hi, I'm Laura, and I'm going to show you how to make this desert food chain. You can make the full food chain with the producers, the consumers, the scavenger, and the decomposer, or you can simply make a food chain with the producers and the consumers. Let's get started. If you'd like to purchase the printable that I'm using, please visit my Etsy shop at etsy.com slash shop slash fanfron. And of course, you're welcome to make this on your own without the printable. If you are at my Etsy shop, it will look something like this. If you'll click on the left-hand side where it says science, that will help you find both of the printables a little bit easier. You'll need to start by doing a little bit of research about the consumers in the Sonoran Desert. I've included these note pages to help you out. There's a section to write the diet for each animal, its predators, whether it's an herbivore, an omnivore, or a carnivore, and then a fun fact as well. At some point, you'll need to cut them apart so that you can choose the ones that you're going to use for your food chain and put them in order. So I'm going to do a harvester ant, which eats the seeds of grasses. The horned lizard's favorite food is a harvester ant. And there is a place on your notes for a fun fact. Here is something crazy about the horned lizard. It can squirt blood from its eye to try to scare its predators away. So they shoot that blood at a coyote because coyote can eat a horned lizard. So you'll need to choose three consumers that you can put in the order that the energy flows. This is the producers and consumers that are part of this project for the Sonoran Desert. So you'll just color the producer and the consumers that you're going to be using for your project. So as you can see, I've got mine almost finished here. If you're using the scavengers and the decomposers in your food chain as well, go ahead and do that research and color one of each. Now cut out your producer and your consumers. And of course, your scavenger and your decomposer, if you are using those. Be sure to cut only on the black dashed line. Okay, this is what I'm using for my food chain. Now we're going to fold forward on this dotted line. If you're using paper, that's pretty easy. You can just put your finger right on the line and fold forward. Make sure the edges line up like this. If you have a little heavier cardstock, you might find it easier to fold backwards so you can see the line and then go ahead and turn it and fold forward. This page is like the ground in the Sonoran Desert and I'm going to go ahead and write my name on my project. And now we're going to fold. So the first fold is this middle gray dotted line, and we're folding backward. You can unfold that. Now we're folding forward on both of these lines. You may find it easier, like we did with the animals, to fold backwards first and then reverse your fold. And I'm going to show you how to do that with this one. Okay, so that was backwards. Now I'm going to reverse it, and it's much easier to fold. Okay. Now you're going to push them together to make a little mountain, kind of. I guess I can't quite show you. And you're going to put glue right along here to glue those parts together. But... If you are doing the extension, don't do that yet. I've got one more thing for you. If you're including the scavengers and decomposers, you're going to cut on the black dash line right there. Again, fold backwards on the middle. Cut on the black dash line. And then you'll fold forward on each gray dotted line and glue the folded sections together. When you glue the 
first piece, just leave a little bit unglued here at the end. Then you can slide them together and put glue under these sections and even right here. I'm ready to glue my producers and my consumers. My producer comes first, then my harvester ant. So I'm just going to put it in the middle between the arrows. Regal horned lizard comes next again between the arrows. And then my coyote. I don't need to put glue all the way to the top here because it's not gluing high on here. If you're doing a scavenger, you'll add that next, followed by your decomposer. Now I'm going to add a sun to my food chain. The producer cannot produce energy without the energy of the sun. The sun doesn't have visible rays that we can see coming off of it like that, but we sure do like to draw them, don't we? If you're using cardstock, you can go ahead and just cut that off right there because cardstock is strong enough to stand up straight by itself. But if you are using paper, fold it in half. This will make it a little bit stronger. And glue right here. Mine is cardstock, so I'm going to go ahead and cut. And then you're going to put glue right here and place it behind the producer on your food chain like this. So you can see that the energy comes from the sun and the plant uses it to grow. And then the energy is transferred to the ant when it eats the seeds, transfer it on to the horned lizard when it eats the ant and then on to the coyote. I included a couple of desert plants that live in the Sonoran Desert, the agave and the saguaro, so that you can include those as just little extra decorations on your food chain if you would like to. So to use the saguaro cactus, I'm going to fold again on the gray dotted line. I'm folding backward to start. Then I'm going to fold forward on both sides. Open it up, put glue in the inside, fold it back again, and then put glue here and here, and decide where you would like it to go. The agave is a little easier, just glue. And you might want to set it near the back so you can see it better. Or if you are using your scavenger and decomposer, you can put it somewhere on here as well. I've got all sorts of labels for you. Producer, consumer, herbivore, carnivore, omnivore, predator, and prey. I've even got some blank ones for you if there's some vocabulary that you've learned that I did not include. So you can cut these apart on the black, black dashed line and start putting them right here with some glue to show what these different things are. Here's something interesting. The horned lizard is a prey for the coyote, but it is a predator to the harvester ant. So it is both. The coyote is an apex predator. That means that it's usually the top of the food chain. So you can choose whichever vocabulary you would like to use and glue it right there in the front of your different animals and plants. I've got additional labels for those of you who are doing the decomposers and the scavenger. So these apply to those consumers. There are different levels of consumers. And then here we have the vocabulary that can be applied to these. So you can cut that apart and glue that on, and then you can describe the flow of energy as it moves through your food chain, and that decomposer decomposes and gives nutrients to the producer as well. So I hope you've enjoyed making a food chain with me today. I sure had a lot of fun. Thanks for watching.